The Finnish Meteorological Institute has been developing large-scale space plasma simulations for decades. Some of the simulation data is now freely available for download. The Earth's magnetosphere is modeled with the magnetohydrodynamic GUMIX model. Its computational domain reaches tens of Earth radii away. GUMIX shows how the solar wind forms the Earth's magnetic field and how the magnetosphere responds to changes in the solar wind. UMIX also includes a model for the ionosphere, showing here the conductance. Solar illumination is yellow and the nightside auroral region reddish. Weakly or non-magnetized planets are better simulated with the hybrid model. It can simulate the movement and interaction of different ion species for example here, the escape of oxygen ions from Venus. The hybrid model has been applied to simulate the plasma environments of many different planets, moons and even comets. Here is Mercury. Results from both simulation models are now freely available at the hybrid web archive. The browser-based user interface creates plots on demand and you may also download data as text files. If you like to analyze data in MATLAB, there is a special M function package to speed up your work. It allows you to download data directly into MATLAB. You can download the function package at GitHub at the account fmahpc impextools. Save the entire MATLAB folder on your computer as the functions need each other to work. Then add the folder to your MATLAB search path. The folder contains five example scripts. They are the easiest way to get familiar with the functions. Let us execute example 1. This takes a while because the program now fetches data from the FMI server. The example produced two plots of the magnetic field and proton bulk velocity around Mars. Then you can open the script in the editor and start playing with the code. The example codes are extensively commented. They constitute the main user guide of the package. Next, we will draw a few magnetic field lines around the Earth without using the example scripts. First, we must choose a suitable simulation run. The easiest way to do this is often through the IMPEX portal. The Earth simulation runs are in the FMI GUMIX database. There is a large selection of simulation runs. When you choose one, information on its parameters appears below. For example, the input uh, interplanetary magnetic field and solar wind density, velocity and temperature. To each run there are two types of output files. The first type contains plasma data and the second type magnetic field data. When we wish to draw magnetic field lines we naturally choose the magnetic field data. Below you can now find the resource ID that is needed for getting the data. But beware, there are two types of resource IDs. The input resource ID identifies the simulation run but does not give access to the data. For that, you need the resource ID that includes the words numerical output. Let us copy this string and return to MATLAB. First we paste the resource ID string and save it to a variable. As the simulation is in SI units, it is useful to tell MATLAB the Earth radius in meters. 
Then choose the points where we want to start tracing field lines. We take 10 linearly spaced points from the night side. Taking points on the x-axis, the y and z coordinates can be set to zero. The coordinates must be composed into a matrix where each row contains the coordinates of one point. That becomes, in this case, a 10 by 3 matrix. The matrix is sent to the FMI server using the function make coordinate vo table. The function will return the address to a file that contains the coordinates in vo table format. Then we use the function get field line to ask the server to calculate field lines. As parameters, we must give the resource ID, the net address to a coordinate file that we just got, and a name for a file in which the function can save the result. This file will appear in the MATLAB working directory. In addition, one may specify additional parameters. For example, the name value pair direction forward defines that the field lines will be traced only forward along the magnetic field. When the command has been executed, the output file, which is in VO table format, can be read into a MATLAB var variable using the botread function. The result is a struct variable containing fields like this. To plot the field lines, we can use MATLAB's native plot3 function. The coordinates are in meters, so it is useful to scale them by the Earth radius. Let's add a sphere in the figure to represent Earth. The field lines do not extend to the surface, as the innermost magnetosphere is excluded from the GUMIX simulation. These field lines end here because they are longer than the default maximum length. This limit could be changed using the extra parameters of the get field line function. You can continue exploring space simulations in these web addresses.